Underneath this head cover is quite possibly my favorite ever club released by Mizuno. And that's a really bold statement when you consider some of my favorite irons ever were from Mizuno. And even with just half a dozen shots in, I am already thinking this could be very well a go-to club in the bag for me and many others. Because the new lineup of fairway woods from Mizuno is something very, very special, and they've entered into a space that they've not been in before. Now, obviously, they've uh, released fairway woods, so what makes this lineup so different and unique for Mizuno? shot there is exactly why it might well end up in my bag super tight fairway so much trouble on the right hand side i've got a fairway wood that zips the ball off the tee with very little effort so how's it doing that but i can report we're in the middle of the fairway and we'll go and play an iron very shortly but for now i said what makes it so special well this is an all titanium model titanium body titanium face there's 80 grams of weight that is also placed in this sole plate and then an extra eight gram that you see placed very much front and center which makes it a super low spin model in theory it's also aimed at faster swing speeds in theory so maybe it's not for me so what i don't understand with all that aimed at that better player how come i'm getting so much out of it now the one thing i need to happen is an appeal to manufacturers and stop categorizing clubs based on sort of swing speed because otherwise I wouldn't go near this. It's very well known that uh, I do not swing the club fast. So based on the uh, marketing and the press release that I've received from Mizuno, this club shouldn't be anywhere near my bag, but trust me, it, it plays so, so well. I love everything that this does, but what is it that I like so much about it? Well, one of the things is the fact that it's just absolutely like a bullet off the club face. What you'll see is a very penetrating ball flight from each of the shots you've seen so far. And that's largely due to the way this thing is weighted. Because interestingly enough, I've got a five wood in my hand. And in terms of ball flight, you'd have never guessed that. Just leaked a tad out to the right, but you'll see the idea that again, you can also get a super high ball fight if you wish. And the other interesting bit for me is that I said it was a five wood. It's also available in three. But this option for me, as I always say on the channel, is it's super versatile. Lots of playability from that kind of lie from the tee and maybe even from the rough. But there's also adjustability, which is key. And we've got sort of four degrees worth of difference that we can change this and make it fit within our bag. Get up ball. Well, as you can see, we came up a little bit short, but it gave me a great excuse to try one of the new T24 wedges from Mizuno because right now what they're releasing is really, really interesting and uh, really elevating Mizuno, in my opinion, in the product stakes. And don't miss out our video on these T24 wedges because they're just as interesting as this fairway would, to be honest with you. So today's video comes to you in association with our travel partner, Glencore Golf. And this week, they sent us off to Portugal, arrived in Lisbon airport, and then a short drive to Dolce Campo Real. The Donald Steele Design Golf Course weaves its way through valleys, mountains, and vineyards, and is a true test of golf in the most tranquil of surroundings. Breathtaking views from elevated tees and fairways that wind through a landscape arriving at well-protected greens. Each shot requires your full attention. A clubhouse awaits for post-round drinks, then relax into the modern hotel rooms, bars and restaurants, refreshed and ready to do it all again.
For more information on this or any other golf trip you may be planning, speak to the team at glencoregolf.com. You see just behind the club face itself, there's this little, uh, there's a piece of stainless steel that's encased in some TPU. It's the Cortec chamber that Mizuno called uh, the sort of missing piece in a previous uh, model release. They've kept it into these and what it does, it also shifts weight forward as well all sort of uh, pushing towards that low spin model it's very effective but what it also does is this model and previous of what they've been doing of late sounds fantastic off the club face as well they've got it absolutely spot on i mean we always spoke about nothing sounds like a mizuno iron but right now in their sort of driver and fairway models they've got it in my opinion really really good and then from a looks perspective they've gone down a sort of classic stylish route now I always talk about matte finish uh, on crowns right now that being very popular for me. Having said all that, this is just so classical in its design. It looks fantastic. The sort of the, the size, the profile, it's very much a little bit of a throwback in my opinion to a traditional um, fairway wood. And then the face has just got these white score lines either side of the center, which frame the ball really well. And then from a shelf appeal perspective, I just think they've got it so, so good. Hard to pick fault with this right now in terms of what Mizuno are doing. And they've just added to their lineup. They're always all about, the association was all about Mizuno irons. But I think what they're doing right now, putters, wedges, fairway woods, drivers, they've really upped their game in my opinion. Oh my word, that is so good. I just hope the audio is picked up. I'm just seeing how long that's gone, but well, that is bang in the middle of it. In fact, it's still bounding on that low spin model, especially from kind of this elevated position, just flies on. But with me with a five wood in hand, I do hit the ball quite high. So there's always that tendency to get a sort of floaty one. And that's why I said it's really interesting for me in the bag personally is because that low spin model just gives me that more penetrating ball flight. But I'd say right now I'm actually swinging the club head really easy out on the golf course. So it really goes against the grain in terms of that kind of what it's aimed at in terms of your swing speed. So don't be put off by that sort of um, the direction in which this thing is pointed at in terms of type of player. Because like I said, it wouldn't be for me, but I've got a feeling this will definitely go in my golf bag right now. I love it. I love the versatility it, option, it, it provides. I love it to five wood, I love 18 degrees aloft. That's maybe performing for me more like a forward in terms of ball flight. Couldn't be, uh, give more praise to be honest with you to this product. Love it in every single department and it would certainly tick all the boxes in terms of from this average golfer. Right, as ever, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one. Let me know what you think because I've got to admit, I'm kind of always Mizuno irons, yeah, 100%. When they release this kind of thing, I'm never, I'm always a little bit, uh, I don't know, cautious in some ways and not, I shouldn't be because what they're producing, like I said, is so, so good right now. But I'd really like to know your opinions as well. Are you gonna give this a go? But for me, STG Titanium Fairway Wood from Mizuno, absolutely fantastic. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all soon.